Good evening, it's Jeff and Wilma Budrum and this evening I'm proud to show you this curry that we made. This is a hominy and snapper porgy curry on a bed of creamed Queensland arrowroot uh, mash. Just going to show you how we go about making this. Right, the first thing I'm doing here, I'm just chopping up three um, cloves of garlic and a generous amount of red shallots. So if you haven't got red shallots you can just use a small onion. So we're making enough to feed three people. Now what we've got in this little saucepan there, we've got a fish frame cooking down, just the head and the skeleton. So we're going to get the stock out of that. That's in one cup of water. And in this saucepan? Uh, that's a bit of queen and our root, we're going to use that for a bed. Right, with a little heavy base saucepan here, we've got, I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of olive oil. Got the heat on. And um, first thing I'm going to put in there is we've got two uh, little ice blocks of uh, turmeric. I'll put them in there, and we've got the garlic and the uh, red shallots that we chopped up earlier. Put those. About a tablespoon or half a tablespoon of our hot sweet chili sauce, and about a tablespoon of this uh, grated crystallized ginger. Put a generous amount of that. We have heaps of that. What I'm going to do is just saute all that and uh, get it cooking and uh, put the lid on and just so slowly uh, cook it. All right, so we have some eggplant I've cooked up today. Uh, just going to cut all that into small pieces, get it ready to go in the curry. Looking fantastic. I'm just amazed at how much uh, the plants are producing. I thought they might slow down. Well, they, are, they have slowed down in the, in the colder weather. Right, now that these are cooked, I'm just going to add in a teaspoon of this fish masala that we got from an Indian spice shop. I'm going to cook that for about one minute. Cook that in a reasonable heat. This has been cooking for a minute. And I'm just going to add one cup of coconut milk. And this nice coconut milk we just made up. I'm just going to bring that back to the simmer while that's happening. I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of cashews, raw cashews that have been cut in half. Putting those in. And a quarter of a cup of sultanas. The other thing I'm going to add in is a good pinch of my sea salt. Maybe a third of a teaspoon or just a good pinch. Bring this all back to the simmer. And then let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And let the sultanas and the cashews soak up some of that juice. And now that this has been simmering for a good 10 minutes, what I'm going to do is strain my fish dock into it. Boom, you just squeeze out any, any, any good juice out of it. The next thing I'm going to add to that is our eggplant. An important part of this recipe is our hominy. So we've got half a can of golden hominy we bought back from America. Uh, quite a few years ago, it's been it's sitting in our fridge. It's waiting in the cupboard, hasn't so it? So yeah, so putting our hominy in there. So I'm just going to bring that back to a simmer and we'll let the eggplant uh, soak up some of the juice. And this has been simmering for a little while. And what I'm going to do is add our snapper pieces. Yummy. Uh, snapper porgy pieces. But Last nice. but not least, we're just going to cook our snapper in there. and. Or porgy. Oh, it smells beautiful. Yeah, it's sort of hard to believe that that's going to just feed three people. Be ready to dish it up soon. We're ready to dish this up. This is looking fantastic. That and the, the lid and the smell is just absolutely beautiful. So we've got our Queensland arrowroot mash we're going to use for a bed. And how's that? 
Beautiful. I think you can see the odd bit of um, hominy in there. <laughs> the three of us. I think there might be some potato. Mmm. That's looking fantastic. <coughs> We're going to have this for our dinner, our dinner tonight. We're going to just about to eat. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you later. Bye.